Hey everybody and welcome back to Foundation and welcome to the new content pack. Sorry, I've uh, yeah, I, I took a little bit longer than I wanted to until I could give you this um, very first video on it. But it was just, you know, I had a little bit to do in the last couple of days and uh, this is why I didn't have the time to do so. But here we go in the first episode and I am trying to make, let's say, one, two, three, two, five episodes on this. Um, with uh, each, you know, each episode episode we're gonna make a little bit in kind of a live section and I'm gonna show you what I've done then in the between but I think uh, because the most important thing and the most interesting thing for you guys is always like the beginning this is why we start with the little uh, area over here I mean most of you do already know potentially what foundation is and how it works but if not uh, I'm going to show you a little bit now how this all works so um, foundation is in still in alpha as you can see it's still in early access um, it's still a very in development esque game which um, kind of you know takes some some elements from the normal building game or builder game genre and <coughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with my voice today again, but anyways. Um, and yeah, you can you can basically build your little medieval town. Um, it, it kind of takes some elements from Anno games, but also tales from Settlers and um, Age of Empires, but it, it all has his own its own unique, nice art style with some elements in the game, which I do actually like a lot, um, that really help make it a unique um, kind of gameplay experience. And I, I do have to say that um, the more I play the game, the more I enjoy it, because it really is a lot of fun. They changed a lot of things in this um, second content pack, which I found to be very, very, very nice. Um, you, you basically, as you can see, you, you see, um, you put down some working uh, or just some, some buildings and as you can see, they don't start doing anything right now. This is because you have to um, tell them what to do because all of those guys are not employed yet. Oh, by the way, I forgot the most important thing. We need a well around our little um, community hub, which is always the center point where people go, where we have our resources at the moment. And now we have to kind of prepare for the future so that people are doing stuff to make us a better little village and community. So what we can do, we can also assign them all to be builder right now. Um, we have to make them something else later on, but for the moment we all make them builder because we want to grow our things as soon as possible. Um, what we also need already is a sawmill. This is basically what turns the logs we are going to gather right now into uh, planks, which we then use for something else. Um, I really, I really like how they um, basically improve the oval chains kind of value chains because there are a lot of new buildings in like beforehand when you had stones you had stones but now you have to chop some stones and then you have a stone cutter who's basically or it's not the stone cutter it's the is it already in here no it's not here uh we're gonna have like kind of a stone manufacturer guy who is then not only cutting them but turning them into real bricks we use for more advanced buildings so um as you can see we have now nearly done both of these first um gathering huts which we need to gather those berries from and then we need to build a marketplace later on where people then can buy the stuff i don't even know is it already yes we can already do it so what we're going to do is and the market now works also as kind of a monument which is nice because it has to be um somehow together then and i i kind of like this approach on it way better than before where we needed to or well, i mean not needed but uh we could just put them anywhere we want it, but they don't really, uh, can I just clear? Okay, sorry, that was my fault. I rotated that in the wrong direction. So this is the direction. Let's put them here actually for the moment. And the goods market as well. Oh no, I, I put it correctly, right? Yeah, because I was co a little bit uh, confused because of this one. Anyways, um, we are going to construct this one now. What we then need to do as well is we have to tell them that they are allowed to chop trees. And I want them to chop down, first of all, those trees over here. Um, we haven't assigned yet a lumber so or a woodcutter. So that, that's something we are going to do as soon as we have uh, done this. Um, because, and this is what we need to do now, is he basically... What is he doing? Uh, she's she's still building. Okay, it's, it's not done yet. It's because I haven't um, sped up the game right now. But anyways, something new in this content pack is also that we have this 
uh, these three things over here as well. And we have now labor, we have kingdom and we have clergy. And um, you have to gain points for these areas basically. Why are you not continuing to build? You haven't fulfilled your goods, so we're waiting for a builder. Okay, sorry that I just stopped my... Okay, well, first of all we need to assign... We don't have any yet, but we're gonna make you a woodcutter. We're gonna make you a woodcutter. And there was mm, someone else. Okay, standing still, be a woodcutter please. You down here, stop doing this. You are a stonecutter for now. Um, oh yeah, I need to... Oh, sorry, I need to allow you to cut some stones as well, obviously. And I also allow them to chop... Uh, just gather these berries over here um, this is what we need to do and then we can just say to you you are now a forager so that you don't stop building in general this is nice uh, what does this building need okay okay we have we haven't got any of those we haven't got any of this so basically what we need to do now is wait and since this is pretty much boring we are increasing the speed to three times also a little change right now because you couldn't uh, you could change the speed up to five times in the old build but then in the new build you can only go to three times i mean i liked the um five times quite a lot i was basically just playing in five times but you know i i think three times doesn't change too much it doesn't take away from the um speed feature in general but it it just gives us a little bit more um ability to chill down a bit i guess um it gives also more control so when i was turning down the speed to one or maybe to zero it was only to kind of make sure that i lay out everything perfectly fine without by the way talking about layout this is also something really interesting about the game so what you can do which i really like is you can also you know move things in between each other um so for example if we have the lambo camp uh, we can basically just you know, just try to do it like that, so that we still have the fireplace as one, more or less. Just kind of make a roundish lumber camp to have more employees working on it. Um, but the thing is, um, it doesn't clip together, which I pretty much like, because you can at least build a little bit more nicer town than, you know, in, instead of having a million lumber camps right next to each other on a grid or something. So the whole game is kind of completely free. And what I also um, like is that you can, basically, as you can draw this area, um, you can basically also uh, draw the residential areas like in City Skylands for example and they are going to build their houses upon um, or basically around the area you have just painted for them which I pretty much like because this leads to a way more natural organic layout of the little town instead of just placing them hand by hand because you you always tend to build them in perfect blocks because it's just the most space efficient way of doing it um, but this will always take away from your you know um, well from from the natural looks of it in you know um, I mean no matter what you do, but you could potentially go for American styled medieval area for whatever reason you would do that, but then it would be realistic. But for all European medieval things you're gonna do, and I think this is pretty much oriented in a European area, but you know, it's it's too art styly to tell, but I could imagine this. Um, also from the building styles, I, I would highly assume this is the fact. Um, and I mean, medieval in, in the United States would also be more like Indian people. I don't know, let's not talk about that too much. Um, so we have also some uh, new features down here. We have some new, um, basically it's, it's kind of a little bit of a quest. And as soon as you resolve the quest, you get a reward and you can see I get one one free territory for doing this. We had this already in the first content pack, which was always the same with the uh, house is called again. Uh, oh, we don't have that yet. Uh, yet, <laughs> yet, uh, yet. We okay. We don't have it yet. But it was the I don't know how the, how the building was called, but basically the building where you could um, get your treasuries and stuff in. So we are just missing out on one on two stones actually. So that should be done quite quickly. Uh, what about our, we don't have a market tender yet, so we can't sell any goods. We should make you a market tender, please. And you are going to, oh yeah, you are already assigned now. So we have three in here, chopping some wood. We have quite a little bit of wood. Um, do we have a builder? We have still two builders, which is nice. We have one stone cutter, three wood cutters. Um, how many forager do we have? Just one, right? We definitely need some people in here. Building complete sawmill. Okay, we have no one working as a sawmill guy. We should then reassign Helen, Helen, uh, to be a 
sawmill worker that should help us to improve uh, a little bit on our work. So as soon as we have set up this, we should be able to uh, draw our residential area, which we can't do right now. Am I missing out on one building? Why we couldn't do that? Oh, it's the warehouse, I guess. So we need to build the warehouse, um, which we're going to put here. Um, and then we can also unlock Gwyneth, Gwyneth is, build, is bringing five stone. This is nice. Thank you, Gwyneth. Gwyneth. <laughs> Gwyneth. Um, I mean, the cool thing about this is also, uh, this is our little um, community camp we had at the beginning. But as soon as they um, gathered all the resources we had at the beginning, this will vanish. So this is kind of not any, not the problem at all at the moment. Um, the cool thing about this well is that really the community finds this as a central place and always comes back in here. You can also see that kind of their primary needs at the moment are not fulfilled. Uh, we need them to be fulfilled to make them pay taxes, or a lot taxes. So at the moment we have the problem that we don't sell anything. We have to do this in this way. And now I hope that we are going to sell food as I have now assigned this here. Okay, so bam, there we go. And now I can also build residential stuff. Uh, the kingdom is recognizing your efforts in especially you know, I am but your humble servant. I can't choose anything else, right? No, I'm gonna destroy you and um, take this throne myself. Thank you. Okay, cool. We can now tell them to build their houses and I want them to build their houses exactly in this area over here. Oh wait, I, oh wait, I was, uh, okay, that was a mistake. Anyways, doesn't matter too much. So I want them to build their houses over here. And I think we are going to make kind of the community hub then. I know, it was all fine. It was all fine. Don't worry, Yuri. Don't worry. You were right. You were right. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to build this all in here. So that we're going to have like basically a market area over here. Which then goes into a big alley I want to have over here later. And then we can have more residentials over there. So that's the plan basically. But for the moment that's nice. Uh, can we have some more community members joining soon please? That would be super awesome because we need more people. No, me. We need more people in here. So we have to um, put these in here. We have to put oops, uh, these in here. We have to put. I think berries also fine. Okay, cool. Because as soon as we can, Jen. Why could I assign Jen? Oh, we have two new people. Why didn't I see that? Anyways, that's a good. That's a very good sign. So we have more people in the town living now. Uh, I think she can be. What do we need? I think she needs to shop wood as well, because uh, that makes sense. Um, and we can also unlock a trading route for 20. Okay, this is what we need to buy some tools later on, because as soon as we have no tools left, we can't build anything. And because people building their own houses will use tools, that's really interesting. Now let's see, we, we haven't had too many men at the beginning. Um, this is Emily and Jolande. Is this also a girl? Okay, this is a girlish house. Please adapt some people from the neighborhood. That would be super awesome. But boys, please. I am, you know, I would say yes if you want to do this. I'm, I'm behind you. I would confirm this. But please get us some men in because I, I believe that men are more efficient. What? We just have like four houses filled with eight women. Do we have any guys at all? How the hell? Sorry, but we've got a problem. So how should we ever grow in our city when we have only girls here? I mean, nothing again, lesbian, but a homo, I should say. But why? They have all to adopt man kids, <laughs> like boys. We need boys. We need boys. That's unfair. Like we have. This is kind of a female-ish community here. Two, two new villagers. Okay, let's see if we get now, I don't know, John and Morton. I don't know. We need we need boys. All right, anyways, we have done this. This is kind of nice. Um, so we, now we have to go on. What do we have to build next? We have to build a sheep farm. Um, and therefore, we need also to... I think we should start going into this one. Uh, as soon as we have unlocked the trade route, what we can just do, we can get another territory. Not quite sure which though, but I guess I am going for... Hmm... I think I'm going for this one or for this one. I mean, I could 
I think I could go for this one to make some sheep farms over here. Um, but let me just quickly unlock the trade route. There we go. I can get one free territory right now. And I think this one would be a great choice. Right. So let's do this. And then we are going to place oopsie the extraction zone so i would love to make the, the the whole brush a bit bigger because it's annoying af to just paint everything like that i mean it's it's fine to be a bit more precise but i would love to can i just maybe hit plus or something no i can't i can't just change it um now you see we we got something new which is the reforestation re reforestation reforestation Whatever, uh, this is kind of the way how you can get, again, some forests um, by having one guy who is basically just um, doing nothing else than put some new, uh, how are they called? These little, uh, oh, uh, something with S, I, I can't, uh, like seams or something in, in the ground, which then a tree kind of grows from. I don't know, they're those kind of, you know, I don't know. I forgot, the, I forgot the word, even in German, I don't know. Um, all right, anyways, we need a sheep farm. Basically, we need more than one. We need two sheep farms, I guess. Let's put this like that, okay. And then we need a weaver hut, which we can't build because we don't have any money, um, which we're gonna have to change by making some, oops, trade, which we are going to do right now. And we have to um, sell above the value of 10 sell above the value of 10 please and uh, we need to buy until it reaches infantry the value of uh, 20 i would say cool and now as we have berries we have planks and we have something else okay anyways we need to get our people some work and we have claude and amalia no still no boys i okay don't get it, but hey, um, we need one more of you. This is still fine. We don't have that many. We, we should build a new lumber camp, actually. Um, and let's do it exactly like I wanted it, to put it kind of exactly in here to make it look like a little nice camp. Um, you, you only have to look at this to make sure that you don't really put this in exactly at the same space because then you can't choose between those buildings and you're going to have a problem later on. Um, by clicking it and, and reassigning new new people in here if you have so but yeah um, so I think uh, this is kind of nice that we have this now working um, we should have our little trading guy here soon to make some more money also um, this is allowed trade isn't it it's accept except do I need to do anything else I don't think so. Um, wow, all our tools are gone, so we have to hope now for the uh, little. Oh, my lord, choose the one we. Are. I'll help the king. What do I need to do, my lord? We need to choose those one. What, what do I eating out? Okay, we will give you deliver twenty fish eh, to. Okay, what do we have? We have points here. What does this change? Does this change anything negative on? Oh yeah. On failure does okay but also for the same so we could go I think we go for this one because we don't have anything else oh I can keep it all at this point um, you know I'm keeping it all at this point because I I don't know how this will go on and how good we are you know prepared for the future is this our little trading guy what's he doing even though is that the trading guy is he buying some stuff do we trade? Oh yes, we did trade. How cool is this? So this was the little trading guy who was running away with an awfully big box, <laughs> which is super cool. Okay, anyways, um, we have now, we can spawn some sheep. And Sigismund, this is our first guy in the community. He's going to work here. And we have Jacob, the second guy in our community work here. By the way, I like this little Easter egg here. If you click too often, it says, come on, don't abuse. And then we say, seriously, stop. And yeah, you could go even further, but I'm going to remove some. Uh, so that, it, what is it even gonna happen if I remove some? Okay, it's not really happening anything. That's nice. Okay, before people start on building more stuff and we have to stop this episode quite soon, this was just a very first look at the this little let's play we're gonna have. And yeah, depending on your, your reception, on the views, on the comments and on the interaction, I'm, I'm loving to continue in real time. I'm even though continuing because I love the game and it's really enjoyable to 
uh, to, to play it and if there is not enough reception which wouldn't be too you know it wouldn't be bad at all but then I'm just going to play it on my own and show you the progress ever every every uh, ever every now and then I think that would also be very cool um, so we need to have the weaver hut which we still can't buy because of money reasons which is a shame um, okay so what about the tailor's shop tailor's work tailor's workshop wait oh yeah this is what makes cloth of cloth of uh, two new villagers joining your camp okay what's the trader again there's again a trader which is um, super good but we have to we have no one to assign here we need more foragers right now to sell more of the berries how much is it in trade by the way oh I don't I'm always clicking on the budget uh, trade is uh, trading for two gold for ten gold for two gold 400 fishes 400 oh, wow this <coughs> Wow, this is seriously some money, right? Um, okay, but we are still making some money, which is okay. Um, digital forest camp, wood camp, weaver, blah, 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 blah. There we go. This is the stonemason hut we need later on. Um, for the moment, that isn't too bad. So we have this going on. We have some tools. We still buy some tools. I wonder if we should... Uh, okay, we are getting some money right now, which is, which is great. I hope that we get... Problem is, though, as soon as he's selling some stuff to us, you know what? We are going to stop the trade for tools for the moment. Um, no trade. And hope that we're going to sell some more in the future so that we make the money. Because we can't get any more money and more stuff for our people if we don't have the money to build the tailor shop. Because the, we need this for wool. Um, by the way, talking of wool, we should uh, allow this fourth slot to be wool. Because otherwise... This won't be taken at all um, and will still remain in here which is not the way we need it um, 88 okay come on come on quickly we need some more money completed house yeah that costs us some go some money I guess but okay so what's going on here we have two unemployed people which is nice because then we can do this and what do we we could have more uh, we still need more foragers and this is why I'm going to assign Maria into this uh, lumber camp as well um, Woodcutters? It should be woodcutters. Why they are taking this route though? Can't they go through the forest? This is very inefficient guys. I think if they chop this down, they should be able to go through here hmm. I would love to tell them only oh, we I could I could tell them to because let's let's just make this and this <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry this is so weird but anyways now they should only chop over here that should be better okay so we have done this we are coming closer to the moment I'm just going to wait here with the tail no what that was the weaver hut is more important right now um, two villagers joined the, uh, the, 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 the village the, 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 the village okay come on please I, I want to build this thing right now over here exactly over here I need the money come on Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's going down. Why is it going down though? Can 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 just the we, we need the trader. The trader needs to come by and just trade some stuff and give us money to build this one. It's fairly expensive though. Um there's the trader coming, so I'm 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 positive that it should work right now. This is the little guy with this funny hat you have seen on the right hand side of the screen right now. There's another there's another one coming. Okay, so I'm 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 very positive now that this should work. So come on. Buy all these planks, that would be awesome. Come on. Ten missing. Boom! There we go. We don't lose any time plopping it down. Okay, what does the weaver hut again? Two hundred, okay. Wow. This is a bit, a bit bad. Okay, we have a lot of new people in the village. So two times we have our uh, Henry and Wilhelmine. Wilhelmine. Uh, they are all building their houses, which is super awesome. Um, this is also... What is the luxury thing selling then, by the way? Okay, clothes. We don't have any clothes right now, so we don't need to assign them there. But we could go for one more lumber camp worker. And maybe, because this is... Well, we have enough at the moment, so don't need to care about this, but we could put someone else in here, so... Okay, no more unemployed people, which is awesome. Is there a little gap in here so people could go here? Okay, they still don't use it. 
for whatever reason. Use it, please, because this way is very inefficient. Also for building this one. Um, okay. Produce this in exchange for this. This is cool. Joland is building it. Nice. I, I like it. Nice work, Joland. Nice work. Um, yeah, guys, but I think that's about it to say goodbye for this episode. We have done uh, week 9. Uh, we are already in week 9, day 4, but we have already um, pretty much started our little village, uh, which is coming, to, yeah, it's coming along nicely, but this is only the beginning, and yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to hear what you think of this Let's Play, and um, I'm really curious to hear what you think, where we should build what, and, you know, how you like this new map, because this is all new, by the way, um, and how you like the game in general. I mean, you have given me some nice feedback on the last quick look video, so to say, but for now, I really want to know what you guys think about this one especially over here because it is a lot of fun to play I don't really f know what to feel about watching it so you guys need to tell me and um, yeah please give me any feedback which helps to improve that make it more interesting for you give me some ideas where to build what and yeah I hope to see you again in the next video of whatever of Planet Coaster of City Skylands of uh, 3D modeling or foundation quite a lot going on at the moment oh by the way and the dinos are coming back as well Bye-bye, guys. See you next time.